We all know about shortcuts in Photoshop, but did you know that you can make your own? Well, let me show you how to do that. Coming up. What's going on guys, my name is Brendan from Outbound Media and you can find me on Instagram at Burnwells. Before I get started, I just wanted to let anyone who's new here know that I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday, so if that's something you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now this is just a quick and easy one today, but shortcuts are a super important part of Photoshop. Without them, we'd be taking a lot longer to do simple tasks. Now if there's certain things in the program that you find yourself using really often, whether it be tools or layer adjustments or filters or whatever it might be, and there's no shortcut for it, or well, you can actually make your own shortcuts. Similarly, you can adjust any of the shortcuts that are already available in the program. So to access all of our shortcuts, we can just go up here to edit and then down here to keyboard shortcuts. And it brings up this window. And as you see here, we have a bunch of different tabs and within them, they just represent all of these tabs up at the top of our toolbar here. So if you go into them, so if I just go down to file here, you'll see that new is command N. So if I go up here to file, you'll see new, open, blah, 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 all the way down. Now it's the same thing in this keyboard shortcut and menus window. So if you're wanting to discover a shortcut for something, you could just find it within this menu. Then just go through the corresponding tabs of what you're looking for, and then you scroll down and then eventually you'll find the shortcut that you're looking for. Now one thing that I find myself using a lot is the Gaussian blur. So that would be down here in filter. So filter, and then down here in blur, and then if I just go down underneath blur, we see Gaussian blur. So what I've done here is I have made my own keyboard shortcut for my Gaussian blur. So whenever I press shift command one, now my Gaussian blur appears instantly. I don't have to go filter blur Gaussian blur. It's just three little keys that I have to press and it's all done for me. Now another tool I use really often is the motion blur. So let's say I want to set a keyboard shortcut for that. Now you can't use a sh keyboard shortcut that is already set to something else. So for example, I can't go Command Z because it is already undo or redo. Now it'll give you a warning and you can just accept it and then you change Command Z to motion blur instead of undo. But I don't necessarily recommend doing that unless you are like super sure that you don't use that shortcut anymore. What I'm just gonna do for this is I'm just gonna go Command Shift period. And now that is my motion blur shortcut. So I'll just click OK. Now that I'm in my image, say I want to open my motion blur, I can press command shift period as I just set and as you see my motion blur window will come up. So I can just do do whatever I'm wanting to set here, it's just something like that and now I can click OK. And as you see we just added a motion blur without actually having to go through our tabs of filter, blur, motion blur. Anyways, this is all I have for you for this tutorial. I hope it helped you, and hopefully this helps to streamline your workflow in Photoshop. If this tutorial helped you, I'd love if you hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing. I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday. If you're wanting to see more of my work, make sure to visit my website at outboundmedia.net, or if you're more of an Instagram kind of person, find me on Instagram at Burnwells. Anyways guys, this is how to add and customize your own keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop. Again, my name is Brendan from Outbound Media, and I hope to see you back here next Wednesday for another new Photoshop tutorial. See you then.